Hey everyone, my name is Alec Ramsby. I'm an MSP consultant here at ProValtech. Today I wanted to go over a continuation of my last video where we, we just created a, a new custom field or EDF as you're used to calling it in Automate. That EDF or custom field was just called Workstation OS. I am on a test machine. If I come over to custom fields tab here, I now see the description of that, what that EDF is. I had edited it from Windows 10, which was the default value. I set it to Windows 11. Now I want to take that and toss it into like a script or some sort of automation on the back end, which on the left hand side, they have coincidentally named it automation. They call it tasks or scheduled tasks instead of scripts. That's just a more generic term because tasks could be a lot of other things just beyond scripts. So what I'll do is I'll come over here and I will hit add task. There are several different ways you can add a task. I want the script editor just in this case. This allows me to get me a familiar screen that looks similar to automate. I will just write this as test script for OS version. I don't need a description. I can set it into a category, which is nice for organization later. And if I come over to the script editor here, you'll notice this is very open ended, very blank. This is super nice because we can add an if then or if then else even on a per line basis. So some of your more complex scripts, you can all do an if then else and then turn around and do an if then else right after that. You no longer have to nest tons and tons of scripts inside of automate to make things very complex. To delete this one, I don't need just trash can on the right. And it's just letting you know, yes, it deletes all of the things in the group. That's fine. What I want to do is hit add row. This gives me a very simple function or script. In this case, I just want to say function. And as soon as I left click on the search box here, it pulls me up a ton of options that we can do. What I want to do is set custom field. There will be a get custom field in the future. Basically, I'm selecting the custom field that I had set up and then I'm going to give it a value that I want to set it to. So in this case, my script would be changing this from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So I'll make sure that it says Windows 11 and hit save. And now when I come back here and I look for my test script here, then I can schedule it. I can duplicate it. I can copy it. I can edit uh, all from here. And if I wanted to schedule it, all I would have to do is hit schedule and go through your normal or script scheduling process. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvalTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.